Well, what's happening, fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today, we're on Invincible. We're in season two, the second half, and uh, this is episode seven. It's called, I'm not going anywhere. And I guess it could refer to Mark, because he just told Alan in the last episode that he's not gonna go back to the Confederation of Planets, the something like that, to uh, meet with Alan's boss, who turns out to be a rebel Viltrumite. Anyway, um, but Alan is taking back those books, which might have and probably do have clues on how to defeat the Viltrumites in general from all of Nolan's explorations and other missions before he got to Earth, I guess. So. Um, so that's a thing. I'm really excited to see what happens. We're really getting juicy and man, we've, um, come very close to losing a ton of our, of our guardians. Uh, Mark or not Mark, uh, Rex literally was shot through the brain and managed to survive somehow. Although his personality has changed quite a bit, uh, perhaps for the better and, uh, shrinking Ray survived but we haven't seen any evidence that she's recovering so i don't know but we did lose kate a couple episodes ago and that was heartbreaking for us because i thought she was kind of cute and also for immortal who really looked like he she was his soulmate um so i don't know we'll have to see how things go the other thing that's heartbreaking is i think I think Donald might have got killed again and replaced again with a robot that doesn't remember being killed because he stopped questioning things after visiting the white room and then the robot grabbed him. So I think probably he has been like reset again. And I suspect that the same thing is happening with, uh, with the college kid, Rick. I think he's probably been replaced with a robot as well. All of this probably based on D.A. Sinclair's technology somehow. So, all right, let's go. All will kneel before Grom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should try asking what whatever the hell? alien or mad scientist you're fighting for a photo next time. Instead of just punching them, you know, pretend you're a fan. <laughs> Is this a convention? Them, that might just work. <laughs> okay, that's just... Is that really what I look like? If you think that's weird. <laughs> I guess it is a con. Uh, we can go do something you want to do, too. Who says I don't want to do this? Right. Sure. Uh -huh. I just meant that it's just kind of more... The Naruto like, back we don't there. We do a lot of time together, so... I want to make sure we're also doing stuff that you like, too. I'll let you know when I'm not having a good time. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Let's just be together. Mm. You know, this is I a really strained care relationship. And for the record, I probably read more comic books than you do nowadays since you're so busy saving the world. You mean the show? Probably not for another year. Sorry, animation takes a long time. <laughs> this is oh, a I meta can't commentary. How much work it must be for those fight scenes. Yeah, those take a while, but we cut corners in other places to make it manageable. You ever notice that sometimes whoever's speaking has their <laughs> mouth off camera, so you never see their lips moving? Yeah, I noticed huh. that. I didn't notice that. Interesting. Yeah, or we'll cut to the back of someone's head while they're talking for the same reason. Other times we'll do a wide shot, slowly pan across it. It looks like it's animated, but it's so far away, you don't notice nothing's moving. Oh, the best damn part is, meta. Because all these scenes have limited animation, we can make the drawings even better. Just a totally ordinary. Uh, goddamn nightmare. Tentacle <laughs> monster. A Cthulhu clown. What the hell fuck. is this dude? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, this is what you're gonna do, Rex. You're gonna go in there and tear off every one of his tentacles and shove them up however many asses he has. And then <laughs> you're gonna send him packing back to planet bullshit or wherever he came from. 
you hear words? Now I'm paying you here. What? <laughs> that literally did not make sense. <laughs> oh no. Why didn't you say something stupid sooner? <laughs> do your pals sound as dumb as you do? Oh, no. <laughs> Octoboss did much time learn your language. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Man. Oh. am ass kick now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Invincible. Ooh. He got a gun. Ooh. Rex got upgraded. Huh. Next time, open with that. Mm. Actually, I'm not sure anyone else could come back from what you went through. Also, yeah. I can't believe you can grow new teeth. Oh, fuck. I wish I had that superpower. <laughs> I'm like some <laughs> shitty hockey player over here. How's it going with Amber? Did you uh, figure stuff out? Not really. Can't seem to go on a single day without being interrupted. heavy to the... Ooh. Damn, this goes hard. Relax. You relax. This is stupid. Oh, he's making her a it. mecha suit. The system is designed to interpret your thoughts. And oh, there you go. Now we can reset and. Our lead is a guy who's so old, he shits dust. <laughs> and his boss is a suit who sacrifices all in a second to save white America. Oh boy. Then there's the girl who broke all her bones trying to explode someone from the inside out, which is fucked up. The pyromaniac who's going through some heavy personal shit after he traded half his brain for a bullet. And finally, whatever the hell Shapesmith is. Yeah. Yeah, I am feeling left out. <laughs> You're not quitting. This is a temporary leave of absence, a vacation we talked about. Do you understand me? Wow. Where are you even going? Home. Where is home for a mortal? Interesting. Rudy, get in here. I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't apply to him for sure. He's Sir? leaving. Your old job just opened back up. Oh, Cecil's given him the leadership. I don't know what's worse. DA Sinclair taking me apart or those doctors putting me back together. If they even did, he's probably no, Donald, a you full cannot robot. Resign. Jesus, is there something in the water today? You rebuilt me, lied to me, took away my agency. You'd be dead if we didn't. I think they've done that it multiple line, times sir. too. I cannot in good faith continue to work for you. I don't even know who or what I am anymore. You're you, Donald, end of story. How am I supposed to be me? You erased my memories. That wasn't my decision. Not like that password of mine you thought you knew. Uh, I don't think you asked for this. Interesting. He's gonna see himself authorizing these memory losses. I think. Run! Hurry! Yeah, he's died dozens of times, I think. Then we'll figure it out. Together. Mr. Grayson, the Dean will see you now. Or who cares? Why does he need to go to college at all? I mean, he's invincible. Sir, I had a family emergency, but I'm back now, and I promise I I'm know all about your family emergency, Mr. Grayson. 
But I know about your father, and I can only imagine how difficult it's been since he's passed. Sir. But you need to make a choice, Mark. Okay. He thinks if he's it's college, dead. then commit to that. If it's not, then commit to something else. But make a decision. Hmm. I want to stay at Upstate, sir. I'm not sure I believe you. But I'll give you a month to prove me wrong. Hmm. Yeah, he's not going to be able to do this. I chose to have my memories erased. You always seem to make your listings even hotter. It's just this guy's you're doing a great job, Debbie. <laughs> he's gunning I feel for like her. I'm finally back in the groove. Thanks for the lift, Paul. See you tomorrow. Uh, Debbie? Mm hmm. Hmm? I was wondering if um, you'd like to have dinner with me sometime. I mean, not tonight. I'm still a terrible boyfriend. She just knows why now. <laughs> I don't know if that's better or worse. Yeah. It's better. It's always better to know the truth. Hmm. When you and Dad first met, you dated, right? Uh, yes, we dated. <laughs> what, did you think we just met, got married, and had you? No, but, yeah, but what was it like for you, I mean? Hmm. Yeah, well, okay. Little Debbie backstory. It was thrilling. He literally swept me off my feet. I mean, I was dating a superhero. And she knew I right away, so much huh? fun back then. Is it really a relationship if you're mostly alone? Ooh, this is not sounding good for Amber. Never met Dad? No. No, because I wouldn't have you. Or Oliver. Even if it's just the three of us now. Mm. What if you didn't have us? <sighs> no, I, I don't know. Wow. What's wrong is D.A. Sinclair took me apart and the government put me back together again, but they left things out. I'm missing parts of me and I don't know what to do. Ooh. I know how you're feeling. He does. I don't. He does. How could you? Oof. Did... Did he get you too? No. You did the same when you fought back against Sinclair, when you saved Invincible and William's lives. We're not our bodies. We're the decisions we make. Damn, the Donald. We change, the, the people we love. Or who love us. I don't need to forget that. And neither do you. I know it hasn't been easy recently. Hmm. But I'm making a choice. He's really working for this. Is you. Well, that's definitely not ethical. But maybe I'm cool with that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> this is fun. Won't well, last. It something's got to interrupt it. <coughs> Shockingly, there are some situations you can't punch your way out of. Mark Grayson. Uh -oh. Invincible. Come with me now. Oh, shit. Or this woman dies. This is another Viltramite. Did you hear me? Mark? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Who are you? My name is Anissa, and I'm an agent of the Viltrum Empire. Otherwise, I will return here and everyone dies. Beginning with her. Wow. <gasps> oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. <sighs> this is... This is the Mary Jane Spider-Man problem. I have to go. You simply do not accept it yet. We're doing everything we can in case this turns ugly, Mark. But we don't have a lot of good options. Yeah, what do you do? As long as you can. He's just as want? powerful as Omni-Man. studied this planet. Good for you. 
Human civilization has less than an 18% chance of surviving the next two centuries without the loss of billions of lives. It's probably that true. Threat? That is the truth. The powerful of this world destroy their own home. We have the technology to repair their climate, feed their hungry, punish their criminals. Mm. We will save more of their lives in a single year than you could in a hundred. You are failing this planet and its people. Do you not Damn. see that? At least I don't kill. We agreed on a schedule and it- Sir. Uh -oh. What? Satellites are picking up a behemoth class kaiju. South Pacific. Closing oh, fast no. on the passenger cruise liner. A kaiju. Vultramites do not kill for pleasure, even if they sometimes take pleasure in killing. Dead humans do not benefit us in any way. Let's see if she means that. There's a cruise ship about to get eaten a few thousand miles southwest from you. <laughs> yeah, beat the crap out of that thing. Strike one way to do it, and it's done. Humans were dying, so I took action, much like our empire will do when it controls Earth. I think you should go now. Careful, Mark, she's a lot stronger than you. Maybe she's the one that's not going anywhere. Remember that we started with reason. <laughs> Ooh. She's stronger and a lot faster, too. <laughs> Man, she's toying the with him. Are on their way, but their ETA is 22 minutes. Backup hero teams are standing by, but it'd be like feeding them to wolves. What else? One carrier group with a boomer and 20 fighters, three orbital gravity weapons, two long range Q bombers, but she moves too fast. Quicker than Nolan, even. Yeah, it she could be is. A thousand miles away before we even get there. No. Mmm. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh man. This is gonna turn him into a pudding. He is too strong. He will demonstrate the error of your ways and this whole planet will pay the price. Probably Krieg. I pray you come to your senses before then. She's, she's the reasonable one, huh? Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> Sir, she's leaving the atmosphere, picking up speed and heading towards deep space. Well, thank fucking God. But those nights off you wanted, I'm afraid that's a thing of the past. Yeah. Yeah, Amber's probably having second thoughts too. Worse than that, it's a weapon someone can use against you like that woman did. Yep, there it is. The ultimate problem. I wanted to kill her for putting a hand on you. I could feel it bubbling up to parts of me that are like my dad. I don't know who I'd become if you were hurt. My mom was always worried about my dad and he'd always tell her everything was gonna be fine. But he was lying every time and he knew it. 
Can't do that. Can't say those words. Mm, this is the end of Amber and Mark, I think. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mark. <gasps> Whoa, shit. When are you coming home? Oh, Jesus. Are we... Okay, we are getting a post. Okay. Anissa. Who is she reporting to? Hmm. What on earth could Viltramites care about? Oh my god! Can they see me? Oh, I think they saw me. Oh, they definitely saw me. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Last time that hurt a lot more. <laughs> Wonder. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Huh. Alan. A kick. Foolish, you know, Ben. Ah. Okay. I saw that sly little glance there, Alan. This is all part of your plan somehow. What could possibly be? He's he's getting captured intentionally. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Um the uh the plot line with Amber and Mark has taken a long time to develop, but it's it's ultimately the Spider-Man dilemma with great power comes great responsibility that whole shtick and his spider-man's choice is that he gives up his his girlfriend to save her from the choices that he has to make and to save himself from having to make those choices when it concerns someone he loves um and uh yeah interesting so this is a this is a take on it and it seems to me like Amber and Mark broke up out of necessity. But I don't know that that necessarily removes the danger. Anissa still knows who Amber is and still knows that she can use Amber to make Mark do things. It already worked once, um, so why wouldn't it work again? So, yeah, and then of course, Angstrom Levy has done essentially the same thing with Mark's mom. And that's more difficult because you can't break up with your mom. You know, she's his mom no matter what he does. So Angstrom is actually playing the stronger hand here. You can threaten the girlfriend, but they can just break up, right? Yep. Yeah break up with your mom man I I really did expect that we would see Angstrom in this episode I didn't realize that it was gonna be as a cliffhanger I thought we would see him much earlier and then we never did so hmm yeah man the the cool thing about this story is they never do the really obvious thing and even stuff that is kind of tropey, like this girlfriend in danger story, it has taken the majority of two seasons to get to that, right? Uh, we've, we've exhausted a lot of other um, relationship problems before we ever got to, to the, you know, big bad threatening the girlfriend trope. Um, so... I'm, I'm very, very happy with how things are going. And uh, they've done a pretty good job of showing power 
escalations, right? How for demonstrating how dangerous something is in relation to other things and showing that invincible is literally the strongest thing on this planet when there's not a Viltrumite around and then just making him small whenever there is a Viltrumite really gives us a sense of just how immensely powerful the Viltrum Empire is. Just one of them is there, not even trying to do damage, and they literally can't do anything about it. There's nothing they have at their disposal that could conceivably stop Anissa from doing whatever she wants um, while she's there. And that's just one Viltrumite. So it really gives us just this immensity, this sense of huge, unstoppable power that's out there as an imminent threat. And uh, they, they've done a fantastic job of, of doing that in a way that's very recognizable, but not heavy handed and uh, whew, so powerful, so powerful. Uh, we didn't really see too much more with the little purple boy, Mr. Oliver there. Um, I expect that he, because of his mixed parentage between Nolan and the bug queen, I forget their race. It doesn't matter. Um, he's supposed to be growing up at some sort of an immensely accelerated rate. And uh, I don't feel like they've demonstrated that because I feel like we've had him on board here on Earth for what could be a period of weeks to months. It's unclear how much time has really passed, um, but we haven't seen him change size significantly. Um, his developmental stuff is quick, but I feel like um, we're not really seeing what I expected. And I, and I think that he's clearly going to be an important plot point at some point. I'm just not at all sure when that's going to be. Now, um, if the second half of this season is the same size as the first half, we've got just one episode left. Um, and uh, that makes this the penultimate episode. And we really, interestingly, the character that I thought was going to be the big bad for this whole season, Angstrom, we kind of, he kind of disappeared for 60 to 70% of the season. I guess he was off getting stronger or repairing himself or whatever he was doing, preparing for the end but he's back and he's here for what could be the final episode. Um, and, and that of course reminds me of the, the Comic-Con scene where obviously the, the writer of Seance Dog is a write-in for, um, for Robert Kirkman and them explaining how, you know, the, shorter season and the changes they can make to animation stuff that was super circular meta referential stuff and uh i absolutely loved it especially as they are you know cutting to different scenes ex that are explaining the methods that he's talking about so so super meta and very <laughs> very funny that they would put that in there just um I love that f it's not quite fourth wall breaking, but it borders right up to the edge of it. And, uh, but it was really, really well done. And I applaud them for how they incorporated that in super, super fun. All right. Well, whew, I, I guess I'll leave it there. Um, I am excited to see what we get for the finale episode. Of course, this is, it's going to be some sort of a mega mega conflict with angstrom i don't see how i don't see how invincible is equipped to deal with someone who can 
literally transport through dimensions and realities with a whim um, and marshal the resources of a multitude of dimensions. I have no idea how he could conceivably even combat that in any real way, but I guess we will find out. And then of course, the continuation of the plot with Alan, who has very clearly allowed himself to, to be captured based on what we saw there. And uh, what, what exact, yeah, what is he planning? What is he gonna do? Gonna go find Omni Man? Is he gonna, you know, rescue him, release him? I don't know. We'll find out though. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate all the uh, likes and the comments. And then uh, obviously subscribing helps us a lot uh, as we try to grow our channel up to 30K. We're very close. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video.